everybody, it's Sharon here. Welcome back to my channel for those who are returning and welcome to any new subscribers that may be visiting for the first time. So in our last video, we created some double pockets using our glue book pages and I absolutely love the way these have turned out. And I've had a thought about how I'd like to go about making some tags for these. Um, I have here some tags from my tea stain tags kits and they're available in my etsy shop as we speak the pink one i don't think i've loaded the pink one yet but by the time you see this video it should be available as well so it will be the latest in my range of tea stain tags that i have to upload and i've actually sorted these so that they coincide with each of these pockets and I'll let you see so that is the first one I just looked at the tones color tones in the paper so this is from my red tag kit and I love the way it works with this paper here from junk with Steph and again with the whoops with the red to toning with the kit and I also thought it worked really well with the sari silk that I've used and I have here a pink. This is from a vintage pink kit. And I really loved that with the iris. And then with the Enchanted Forest kit. This one here I've chosen an orange, a vintage orange tag base. And for this one I've chosen the blue. Now each of these are in the light version of my tag so in the tag kit you get I believe it's 10 pages of bright and 10 pages of light colored tags so the difference is in the intensity of the color on each of the tags so these are all in the light range and I loved the way they worked with these kits so I've had a little idea now I have also out of the same kit I have these are the two sizes and they layer reasonably well on top of each other. So I'm going to use these two as templates. I'm going to use, this as the backing and I think actually I had a little think about what I wanted to use for my first tag. So I'm going to, which one was it? <laughs> the wrong one. My first tag was, oh, it was actually this one. It was the iris. I was trying to get my head around how I wanted to layer. And before I turned the camera on, I was looking through my scraps of paper and I saw this music paper. And I really loved the way that married in with the lace. So... I'm going to use that as my second layer. Whoops. Now this is only a theory. I haven't actually tried this, so bear with me. I may, may stumble a little bit. I'm hoping it will work okay. So just getting my tear ruler. And I'm just going to use this as a guide. So this is the vintage music, I think it's vintage music version one kit from Junk with Steph. Okay, so and then from there I think I will use my original tag to cut the tag shape because in theory it should be the same angle. And swapping sides. Okay. And so that is layer number one. And then from there, I was hoping I could use the same kit that we created the tag with. Oh, actually, I hadn't considered using... Oh, wrong kit. 
for some reason I've got that kit in my mind, the flourish kit. Okay, so we'll try that again, shall we? So I have the iris kit. And I'm thinking I might need, oh, I don't know whether to use a full page. A half page image I kind of like that and it's already torn just looking to see what else I have I do like that image as well percent sold so I'll keep all oh, that's pretty oops I like that that could work okay let's try that myself in all kinds of a mess so the iris kit is where I've taken that paper from which is the same kit we use to make the pocket out of sorry I'm just gathering my papers together again so I don't have a complete shambles when I finish videoing probably will anyway but you know I try, I do try. Okay. So, tearing this out. So, I hope you're all fabulous. I am, I'm excited to be making these tags. I don't even know what led me to think about using my kit for the tags. I think I was tidying my desk. I honestly can't remember. I was looking at the tones in the papers that I'd used and just trying to come up with a plan. And I thought about my kits and the colours in those kits and I was just like, I feel like that could work. So I'm roughly centering this on here. I don't want to take off a lot because I don't want to lose that image. And what I will say is that the angles on the tags in my kits are all different because they were hand cut. So this angle here won't necessarily be the same, although it looks it's similar, very similar. Um, no, perhaps they are. There you go. Okay, what was I doing? Okay, I love that. So there is our tag. Oh, that's pretty. Okay. So I'm going to ink around each of these. I will need to back the, the back of the tag base um, which I haven't done yet and I'll do that off camera I think I'm just going to back them with some tea stain paper okay I'm not sure how many of these I will get to do on camera because I don't know how long I can video for today but if I have to finish the rest off camera I've kind of shown you what my plan is and I will potentially finish the rest off camera and show you once they're done it's just fun to be in here playing Now, 
what was I thinking? I had I had a thought for this set, part two. I've moved my things out of the way and I need them. Okay, so I have the Eclectic Fe Ephemera kit from Junk with Step. I think I'm going to have to print more of this size. I think these are the four to a page. I may have a two to a page in here as well. I honestly don't remember, but I think they were the four to a page. I love this size for layering. Now I keep all these little strips with the name of the kit in the bag so that I remember what the kit is called so I can take those out as I see them. Okay. I was being extra safe that I had the <laughs> had the name in there. Okay, so I'm not necessarily wanting the larger images, I'm thinking. I really do need to print more of these. Okay, and I just want to I think I might pop that over the top like that. And then perhaps that one there. And do I want something across the bottom? Maybe. Yep, I like that one. Okay, I think I like that. So I'm just going to sweep those to the side until I need the next. Okay, so I need to pop this one down first, which means I need to glue, uh, glue ink first. Oops. I might as well ink the others as I'm going. You're distracting me. And I'm wondering if I want some sort of lace. I, f I feel like it could handle, some, or actually maybe, some cheesecloth. Okay, I think I'll use this. I'm going to have way too much here. Okay. So I need to work out how I can remember where I want that. I'm going to say there. Oops. So roughly they are. Paper towel. Yes, I do have <laughs> threads. Okay. Now I need to work out if I want a cheesecloth. I felt like I wanted the cheesecloth underneath my next layer. Okay, so let's look at that. Get rid of that piece. I like 
like that there, I think. So, I'm going to use some fabric glue. Do you ever feel like you're taking a long way to do something? Sometimes I feel like that. Well, probably a lot, but... Okay. A little bit of glue under there and I'm going to trim off some of the excess Now I do want some of this to show, so I'm hoping I can trim like that. Okay, so how does that look? I'm going to add some glue down here. Some more along here. I love that. I love the way that that cheesecloth has softened the look of that and yet it's allowed the colour to come through. Okay, and because I've used the cheesecloth, I'm going to see if I can attach this with my fabric glue. I might pop it on my glue book. Just trying to get as close to the edges as possible. It's on paper and not a matte photo paper, so it's a little on the thin side. But it should be fine. So just trying to roughly center both vertically and horizontally and it's kind of taken a hold. I don't think that's too bad. I don't think it's perfect, but I don't think it's too bad. Just looking for a bone folder. And locking that in. I've got fluffy bits everywhere from my cheesecloth. Okay, and I think I want this about here. So again, I'm going to use my fabric glue. that in and then I have my label to go across the right hand side a 
can say about there. And I feel like just getting some of my fabric cheesecloth. Big matted mess at the end. Okay. Just giving it a little haircut. Oops. Going to pop that on there. I think I'll pop that tiny piece, just a little scrap that was in my basket. But I like the colour. I'm actually thinking it might be a piece of sari silk ribbon. And I'm going to pop this piece down. And again, I'm going to see if I can get as close to the edge as possible with my glue. Scooching that across if I can because it doesn't look quite centered to me. I think that's a little bit better. Okay, so that's lifting there, and I'd like that to stay there, so I'm just adding some extra glue and Oh my gosh, I love that. And I need a topper. I'm thinking just a calico topper actually to coordinate with those yellow and brown tones. If I can find any calico scraps, here we go. Knocked my glue stick over. Sorry about the noise. Now what I cannot do is glue this to the back of my tag just yet because I need to pop some tea stain paper down. I think I'll just glue over the top of that cheesecloth so I'm going to leave that like that and once I've covered the back with
with my tea stain paper I can then glue it to the back as well and sew around it but I really love that and I should be able to lift it ever so slightly from the edge to cut the tea stain paper away but that is my tag to go with my pocket Oh, I love it. I love it so, so much. Okay, so. Just popping the lid on my glue. I'm going to pop those both on my sewing machine. That is so pretty. Okay, so just cleaning up some bits off my cutting mat. And off my fingers. So I'm going to work with this one. And just so I've got glue. I've got very gluey fingers. Um, so I haven't decided what I'd like to use as a backing for this one. I did consider this paper. I don't mind the way those browns work. I'm kind of looking for a similar toned brown in amongst the papers that I have. So I just have my scraps from the ephemera I've been making. These are the neutral toned scraps, I think. liking either of those oh these darker ones are very fun kind of go with the slightly dark and grungy look of the paper there I think I like this oh this I'm just auditioning hmm I'm not sure the flowers are working for me with that paper. Oh. No. Or do I like music paper? Kind of ties in the lace, doesn't it? I think I will. Use the music paper for this one as well. But I may need to get a different piece. Just not quite long enough. Okay, so so vintage music version one from Junk with Steph. And I think I'd rather have some without writing on it. So which one? This one. And again, as I did with the last papers I used from this kit, I am going to save this little image up here. Okay, need to make myself some space. I've got bits everywhere. I'm starting to think I need to get myself another rolling cart. I've got one next to me on my left and it's got my ephemera folders and things on it. I think I'd like another one to keep the baskets of paper that I have on my desk and I can pop those in the top of the trolley and get them off my desk and then I would have so much more room to move. I think that may be my goal as they say it won't happen overnight but it will happen again all part of working on my organization to try and make my space as friendly as user friendly as possible okay so this is my second size tag i'm like papa bear mama bear and baby bear so this is mama bear Clearing this out. Just checking my angles on this tag to make sure they work with the tag 
underneath and they do so I'll just use that as my guide I made these tea stain tags such a long while ago now so love it love it love it okay so I just need to find an image from that kit Something that I can use as my focal point. Whoops, upside down. Oh, my pages have become a bit curled. I've got glue. I don't know how that happened. Okay, so what do I have? I still love that bird, but he's already on there. I want where's baby bear he would fit but he's at the very top which I'm not sure is a bad thing because then he would be seen from the pocket but we'll see if there's anything else here I do like that moon again he would be at the top I like him because I feel like he would take up a lot of the tag. I just want to get a visual of how much of him would be. Well, he's kind of fun. He was in the pocket. What would we see? Mm, not a whole lot. Okay. I do like him though. I love this label. Hmm. I like. I like because we have details of the forest as well as that bird. I think that will be my choice. Oh, I actually really love that too. But I think the rest of the papers are aligned. Well, that's kind of fun. I, I think they're too far away. They are. No, I think I like the bird. It kind of works with our 2D image it, it almost makes it 3D which wasn't intentional but lots of fun Oops. okay I better tear my edges around first before I tear that image out because it might be a little bit difficult to tear once I've torn into the page Just hoping majority of that little bird fit. These two little birds over here could be rather fun actually. I hadn't considered them, but I think hmm. Have to have a look at that. I was just thinking I kind of need to make two because I have two pockets out of similar paper so I'm going to tear these and see what they look like It's 
kind of fun. Okay, just trimming this. I need to make it shorter. See that there? That's kind of fun. I like that. Okay. So I think I'm going to use this to tear my other tag. Trying to decide which way around I want them. I think I like them that way. Okay. So maybe I can tear an oops, another one of these. Tear that image out later. So I can keep it and use it as a focal point like I did the others. They were really fun. So in case you're visiting for the first time, I'm talking about this image here. I've taken those off this particular music paper before this is a digital kit from junk with steph and i've used those as focal points on some ephemera and they looked absolutely gorgeous so i will certainly be doing that whenever i use that kit from now on okay so i have that and Ah, now I had a different coloured background for this one, so I forgot that. Well, that is kind of fun on there. I wasn't sure about the music paper because I kind of was matching that to the lace, but I like that because of this label, so it still works. Okay, good, 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 good. Need to ink...
Okay, so I need to pop that to the side. Bringing in my focal points for my background and thinking about some cheesecloth for behind. I think with this one I'd like to use a brown or a tea stained cheesecloth because I I don't know. I don't know why, I just do. <laughs> Do I want that for there? Maybe that would be better off on that side. Because it would tie in that lace maybe. Let's just see. See if I like it. Okay, and I'm thinking a white to tie in the lace on this side. Yes, I like those too. Okay, so, oops, did it again. I'm just going to glue this down and then I will see what images I'd like. I perhaps will not glue the left hand side so readily till I decide if I want something underneath that first layer the same as I did on the last one I think I need to get here we go. So much easier. Okay, so bringing in these. Oh, this one with the blue on it could work actually. I do like that there. Okay, so I'm going to ink around that. I don't want to lock it in yet because I need to work out my other layers. like that
and I think I'll go with that. Okay, so Probably will sew around these. Okay, so I'm just going to lock those in. Okay. I'm popping this down. I think that little piece of scrappy lace can be my topper again I will glue it down but only at the front and I will sew around that I really love that where's my pocket That will be inside the pocket. Too fun. I am going to just trim the bottom. Okay. So... I will finish the rest off camera. I still have this one here, so you're kind of seeing where I'm going with that one. And I have two more to do 
with these two so I may do those off camera and I will show you how they look either at the end of this video or perhaps in my next video so I wanted to say I'll bring the other two across so that you can see there are the two that we finished oh I've got a big mess on my desk look at me Okay, so I wanted to say a huge thank you to Steph from Junk With Steph for allowing me to showcase your beautiful digitals. I love the way these have turned out. I love the coordinating tags with the pockets. I just think they're so, so fun. So I wanted to thank you all for joining me while I've created these and for helping me prepare for the ones that I have left to do. And I look forward to seeing you all in my next video. Please, everybody, stay safe, stay inspired and happy crafting. I look forward to seeing you all soon. Bye for now.